All right, I'll show, in this video I'm going to show you how to install Active Directory or the technical term is, is promote the server uh, to a domain controller. So we can start off in your taskbar there's an icon for the server manager or you can go into your start menu and, and I don't show my start menu that toolbar so I can maximize the space on here. But uh, here we go. This, we go to the server manager and we can see what roles this server has on it so it's uh, taking this time to show us collecting the data we'll see that Active Directory is not on here now if you want you can install the binaries through this tool it doesn't actually configure it you still have to run the DC promo tool uh, or you can just run the DC promo tool and it will and it will automatically install the binaries but all this is doing if you do an add a role and we come through here and uh, say Active Directory it's just installing the binaries so we'll uh, just kind of skip it this right here and if we do run and we run DC promo as you can see right here we'll say OK and this it'll take a few minutes to go through and uh, install the binaries Okay, just finished that piece. Now let's. Uh, I don't know why they have this uh, use uh, advanced mode install. I haven't seen a difference between checking it and not checking it. Seems to you seem to get pretty much the same screen. So we'll just do next, next. We're going to create a new domain and a new forest, and we'll call this one ad.novel.com. Now you want to make sure if you have a domain, probably shouldn't use novell.com, but I'm not accessing the, uh, have access to the internet. Just in case there is an ad.novell.com, your servers or workstations might ac actually end up resolving to that domain. Now, for right now, DSFW only supports 2003 domains, so we're just going to do a 2003, but you can see the different options we have. If we did a 2008 R2, we would not be able to go back. There's, there's once you're promoted to a domain level, you have to stay there. So, when if you're planning on using AD and set up a, a a trust for an application, and have the application run on the AD side and all your users and such running on the DSFW side, just do a 2003 domain at this time. Uh, 2008 support is on its way, and then this is that's the forest. Now it's the domain level, and we're going to do the same thing and uh, just going to examine DNS and we're going to configure DNS also as well. Okay, uh, skipping ahead, it, we just barely finished uh, examining for, for D DNS. Now we're actually going to do the DNS install. If you already have a DNS server, you can you can skip that, but we don't have one in this domain, so yeah, it's going to have to create ones that we can resolve to. And this will create the necessary records for, uh, just like in DSFW so that uh, you can resolve this domain and, and authenticate to it. Okay, after some more waiting we get a, a little, just this little message, we just go ahead and say yes, just um, making sure that our, we have know what our DNS configuration is. Uh, defaults, the, the, you got uh, the, the three you know, directories listed here as far as where your, your database, your sysfall is going to be located also and you're gonna have to put a password to restore and it has to be upper lower so I'm gonna do uh, do that again you want to use numbers uppercase and lowercase uh, yeah, it has to be a strong password okay next and this gives us a summary what we're doing our site the options and continue and this is actually uh, installing Active Directory and DNS uh, and, and so it'll all be configured for us and it should be just another few more minutes and and we'll check check back in here so I'm gonna pause this Thanks. okay and then after a few more minutes of this running we've completed the install that's pretty much it if we restart of course you have to restart 
Uh, once we restart, we'll be able to authenticate in as uh, into the domain with our administrator account and with the password that we already have. So, and it's this is not the restore password. This is our our password we already had. So, as you can see now, what's been installed is uh, for roles we have Active Directory and DNS. Anyway, I hope that was uh, helpful to you, and uh, good luck.